this is the Provoke Prawn, and here I'm asking the question whether you should peel the stickers off your NVMe SSD before you install them. Now you might have noticed in a recent video that I actually did this with a WD Black SN850, and the reason was I kept getting asked whether you should, so I thought I'd do a test to see what difference it made, and whether you actually should do it, and then I could make some recommendations on it. Now it does make some sense to peel this sticker off, because obviously, as you know, you want to transfer that heat as much as possible. And usually on motherboards, you'll find various thermal heat shields and thermal pads. You can see on this Gigabyte one, for example, the heat sink on top is insanely large. And obviously, it's designed to help dissipate that heat and keep your drive running cool. The cooler it runs, the better it will run, so you should get good speeds out of it. So that's worth considering. Now, this crucial P5 drive, you'll see if we flip that over on the other side, it actually says that the warranty is void if you remove the rear sticker. There's no mention on the top one, though, and that's obviously where most of the heat's going to go because that's where most of the action is. But on Crucial's website, they actually recommend not removing the stickers. You'll see there's a little note on their side that says you don't need to remove the top label and you shouldn't remove the rear label because it will avoid your warranty. So that's worth considering. But on the WD Black SN850, there's no mention of that on there. And on the rear of this drive, there aren't any stickers on it, but there is one on the top. So what I've done is I've taken two different drives and I've left the sticker on one of them, installed it in one system, and taken the sticker off another one and installed it in a different system. And then I'm gonna go through the process of testing and see which actually makes a difference and whether it's worth removing the sticker and if it makes any difference to the system performance. Now, what you might find is that if you do have a drop in performance and you're not getting the PCIe Gen 4 speeds or Gen 5 speeds that you'd expect, as in the fastest amount of speed out of your drive, there may well be a reason for that that isn't down to thermal throttling. And so it's worth checking out another video that I'll link to in the description that I've done separately on things to know about installing your drives and what difference it can make and what can affect performance. One of the things that is important though is to get the stickers off the thermal pads on the heat shields before you put them on. So although you're not taking it off the drive, you definitely want to take it off these thermal heat shields because that will help with dissipating the heat and cooling that drive down. So now into the testing process. So this is on the driver I peeled the sticker off. And here I have Task Manager open, Crystal Disk Mark for benchmarking purposes and hardware monitor. And what I've done is I've run several passes of Crystal Disk Mark in order to test it out and see what the performance was like and also to keep an eye on those temperatures. So I'll skip some of the process here because it takes some time, but you can see at the end result is we're getting just under 7,000 megabytes per second read speed, which is what I'd expect from a Gen 4 WD black drive. And you can see that the temperature, max temperature for this is 71 degrees C for this drive. So it's getting the speeds it should do and around 70 degrees. So not terrible. And obviously this performance is going to vary depending on your system and your setup, how many fans you've got on your case, your external temperatures and other things. But 71 degrees, not too bad. Obviously good transfer of heat there. But I did run a few passes and after a few passes it got 78 degrees instead of 71. So it's worth bearing that in mind. It might get hotter the more you're transferring data over. So now on to the drive which still had its sticker on. And around the same logic... A few passes with the Crystal Disk Mark, Task Manager's Open and Hardware Monitor again. Basically just doing the same thing, trying to carry out exactly the same process twice for the sake of fairness. And you can see once again we've got the same read speeds, just under 7,000 megabytes a second. And this time we've got 75 degrees, so a marginal difference in the heat. So taking that sticker off has made very little difference to the heat transfer. In fact, keeping it on is actually a little bit cooler than the top end of what the temperatures were testing at. So you can see that it really hasn't made much difference at all. So don't bother taking the sticker off because you'll probably find that you shouldn't. It won't make any difference. And if you do have problems with your speeds, it's probably nothing to do with that sticker. But it's in fact down to other things. So check out the links in the description to find out more. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching.